start with authenticity. You know, after 25 years of being fascinated with this human body, as an athlete myself, as a coach myself, as a trainer myself, as an educator, it's never ending. But what I've come to realize is that whilst there are thousands and almost endless applications to training human movement, there's really only a few guiding principles. And what we want to do now is first understand the authentic principles and systems of global human function. And if we can master these few key ingredients, it empowers us and hopefully you to create endless recipes because you're the head chef of your life and your, client, uh, your client's program. So we want to give you those ingredients. There are 11 biological systems that make up global human function. This is everything from our reproductive system to our nervous system to our endocrine system. There's 11. But when it comes to movement, we feel we can boil them down to three movement systems, if you will. So we're going to take those 11 biological systems and put them into three primary movement systems. The first one, this is the mothership. This is our software. And the software is really the control center, the operating center. And this is made up of the nervous system, the piezoelectrical system, and the proprioceptive system. And when you put these things together, the reason we call them the, the operating system is because they run the show. And really when it comes to movement, these systems come together to create a subconscious stewardship of global human movement. And that word is really powerful, subconscious stewardship. They are responsible for when and how we move. They respond to the environment we're in, as well as the environment within us. They're sensory-based and task-driven. Sensory-based and task-driven. And really, they take these different systems of the software. They take the cumulative sensory input from all around us and within us to help us coordinate our movements, our postures, our body positions and they detect environmental changes, and they work with all the other systems of our body to respond to those changes. That leads us to the second, which is the hardware. This is the moving parts. This is the stuff that we always geek out about in our industry, our skeletal system, our fascial system, our muscular system. Think of these as the moving parts that are actually implementing the programs that the software wants to run. And the way we look at it is these moving parts have more than just movement function. Even though they're the moving parts, they provide protection to the body, they provide storage, they provide support and supply. They give us what we need and they protect us. And ultimately, you could argue that those joints, those bones, those muscles, they're really about absorbing, producing and transmitting forces. And as we learned at the Grand Institute with Dr. Gary Gray and Dr. Dave Tiberio, bones move, joints feel and muscles react. Third of these big primary systems is our highways. We think of these as our metabolic and fluid system. This is the battery that keeps us charged. So this includes the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the endocrine, lymphatic, and our energy systems. They give us the juice to do what we gotta do. But more than that, they're also about transportation and fuel. They help carry around the good stuff to keep us going, and they help remove the bad stuff so that we can recover and regenerate. They're our waste disposal site, they're our recycling site, but they're also our immune defense system. So when we look at these three primary systems, that's a simple way for us to look at it. We've got our software, our hardware, and our highways. So if we're gonna assess movement, we're gonna train movement, we're gonna talk about movement, you always have to come up with your own personal definition of well, what I believe is functional movement. And in a very broad sense, at Pivotal, we believe that anything, anything that subjectively and objectively improves your quality of life is functional. If something helps you go from where you were to where you want to be, it's functional. But then we have to go a little granular and go a little deeper and define it more specific to our guiding principles.